What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. Today I just want to talk a little bit about tying thread. If you tie flies for bass, northern pike, trout, muskie, or any larger predatory fish, and you go through a lot of thread, I think I've got something that can help you and it's an alternative to buying uh, fly tying specific thread. These flies here are examples of things that I tie and this is a jig fly. This fly uh, has the thread wraps coated with fabric paint. This is an articulated marabou streamer. And this fly is an articulated woolly bugger. It's called a waggle bugger. And I fish this a lot for smallmouth. All these flies I tied with this fly tying thread. And actually this is not a fly tying thread. This thread is a quilting and craft thread. You can get it at almost any craft store, uh, including Walmart, and I think they have the best price on it. You will pay only about two bucks for 300 yards of clear thread. And it is strong, it's durable, it has a little bit of stretch to it, and it will bite into the materials that you are trying to latch down to a hook. I love this thread. I kind of stumbled on this by accident. I just tested it out and really grew to like it. And if you tie a lot of flies, especially, you know, like I said before, a lot of streamers, this thread is gonna help you if you don't wanna spend a lot of money on thread and you wanna get a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, if you can see here, this thread is very thin. Uh, the thing that I like about it is that it is super strong, but it is very thin. You will not build up a lot of bulk on your fly patterns, and you can tie some really nice, neat, clean heads on your flies. And I'll go ahead and pull another fly up here. We'll go back here to this waggle bugger. If you look here on this trailing hook, okay, this trailer hook here that I clipped off, that head is very small and it this thread takes polish very well and it will look very nice uh, if you coat it with you know uv resin uh, nail polish head cement anything like that and it just really is a versatile thread you know not only is this thread super strong and you get a lot of it in one spool for two dollars you know you're getting 300 yards it's also versatile so this is another example of just a traditional woolly bugger that i tie it's the sparrow bugger and this fly here um, i actually use that same clear thread uh, as a substitute for uh, the wire rib and in a regular woolly bugger, you usually use, uh, you know, like a copper wire to wrap your hackle in and to reinforce it and give that fly just a little bit more durability. But what I've found is that the wire breaks down in the water over time and it will kink from fish abuse and fish hitting that fly consistently and eventually break. So in order to add some longevity to my flies, I actually tie in instead the clear mono thread uh, as a rib, and you can't even see it. Uh, you can see where I've wrapped the hackle in, but I tie that hackle in the same way on every one of my buggers. I actually tie the hackle in and wrap it backwards and then counter wrap with the clear rib. The clear rib, because of its thin diameter, bites into the materials and holds the hackle better than the wire because the wire actually slips. And the uh, clear thread actually bites into it and it holds it down. Because it's able to bite into not only the chenille but the hackle and hold it into place, the fly itself uh, rarely becomes damaged. Uh, I catch northern pike on these buggers every now and then and their teeth don't come close to damaging that rib. And I've never had one fall apart yet. So I'm completely sold on the versatility of this thread and just how strong it really is. I'm not saying that you gotta drink the Kool-Aid here. This isn't, um, 
you know, a, a mandate. I'm not telling you to go out and buy this thread. If this is something that interests you, you know, if you're a streamer tire, you tie bigger flies and you want to try something different and maybe, you know, spend a few less, uh, you know, pennies a year on fly tying thread, you know, this might help you out and it might, you know, be able to take your tying to a new level um, and might just enable you to, uh, see the versatility of things that aren't necessarily uh, traditional fly tying materials. You know, not a flat waxed uh, fly tying thread. Uh, I think this clear thread here will uh, serve you well. Um, you know, like I said before, you get 300 yards per spool um, and it, it's just such a thin diameter and so strong. Uh, I've just really loved it. I would recommend to you that if you are gonna tie with it, um, you know, just practice with it a little bit and, you know, get used to it because it will be different. It will be a little slippery compared to your flat wax thread because of its, um, uh, of its thin diameter and that it's not flat, it's round. So just give it a shot. Uh, the Coats Transparent Thread, you can find that at Walmart or any craft store. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content. As I post more videos, the fly patterns that you've seen today, I am going to be posting tying demos for in the future, so stay tuned for those. That includes the waggle bugger that you saw here, uh, the marabou jig, and uh, the sparrow bugger, along with uh, some articulated patterns as well. I've got a bunch of flies that I want to put up and, and tie for you and do some tying demos for, so stay tuned for those. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.